Welcome again to the Catholic High Music Awards. I'm Daniel Stephan and I'm here to tell you a little more about CHMA. Well, we all, all know that iMedia has put in a lot of hard work to bring you this exciting event in our past year videos. And if you have not seen the video yet, you can always go online here to see it. This year, we are going to look into how CHMA actually came about and what it has done for our past contestants, some of which has made a name for themselves, like Paul Tuhill. Okay, okay, let's not get too excited. Without any further ado, let's move on and find out how CHMA was conceived in 2003. Hello, welcome to CH Music Awards! I mean, in uh, 2003 when I was performing, we started out like really, really small scale and it was just uh, on a Wednesday afternoon, assembly period and all. But over the years, it's grown into a very public and a very expensive, high budget kind of thing. That's the scale we've grown to. Uh, in 2004 and 2005 especially, we had all this expensive equipment coming in and all. It's really different from any normal school talent time or talent show, where it's just a couple of people singing wannabes who go on stage and make a fool of themselves. But here at uh, CHMA, it's, it's a lot more professional and people get to explore their talents more. And yeah, they become somebody on stage where you don't normally know them for that particular reason or for being a singer or for being a rocker or anything. But at CHMA, you get a chance to pursue that. You get a chance to live the dream, so to speak. Nowadays, with Idol coming up, with all the TV shows, they base their who's going to win on popularity votes and all. It's a major part going to the audience, which I'm not saying is a bad thing, but it's not exactly the best thing either because, well, at CHMA, we got real judges, we got people who know what they're doing, rather than some teenage girl fan who like at home and saying, oh, the guy's so cute, the guy's so cute, I'm just gonna vote for him because the guy's so cute. I took part in it first because um, it was my last year in Cat High and I had to, and I wanted to try everything that's on offer. So at first I thought it's gonna be just another talent time contest, but it turned out to be much better, you know, with the cool lights and, and we have a cheesy host in Mark Tan and yeah. Like we had this band, all the same are all the center people are all one music also, so uh it's like yeah, then we like had our instruments and we we'll play together and then and then and then like we entered this competition to like 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 show the school, you see? Then it's like oh we actually won for the first year. Yeah, we won. <laughs> it was this great boost of confidence. Like after the first year, our band was like, eh, hey, we can do anything if we set our minds too. Enough about the past. Let's talk about how CHMA has progressed since it started. Over the years, we've introduced new categories to provide opportunities for our students to further showcase their musical talents, such as the original composition category last year and creative expression this year. We've also given away iPods as lucky draw items and sent the contestants for external vocal training this year. Now, let's take a look at some of the preparations for this year's music awards. In the process of preparing for the music awards, not only does the iMedia students manage to get use of make use of their skills in video production, audio production, photography, they also learn a whole series of um, organization skills, right? Learning how to um, anticipate problems, meeting up with deadlines, and planning out a workable and feasible schedule. The publicity crews are in charge of uh, promoting the event itself. Um, the ticket sales of the uh, show as well as um, program booklet. Now the video crew is basically in charge of documenting all the production aspect including making of um, this video as well and of course after the show they'll be busy with producing the DVD for the music awards. The stage design team will come up with ideas for um, what you see right now. Actually a lot of people didn't realize um, it takes up a lot of time to prepare and think of ideas for the stage. The last team is the audio crew. Other than taking care of the technical needs on the show itself, they are also uh, responsible to provide recordings for um, our contestants like creating and finding minus ones for their songs as well as um, giving them a recording experience in our own studio. Yeah well, hopefully we'll get to see each other more and uh, scale like CHMA or beyond. 
thank you for all your support, especially thank you to CHMA and all because um, without this experience, I would not become a better host, a better performer and would not have even considered taking a line like this. So the whole experience has been wonderful. I hope it doesn't stop here or in 2008 or 2009, that it can keep on going and that it becomes a tradition within Catholic High to have a good show like this. So over the years, maybe hopefully we have more talented people coming up and show what Catholic High is because you look at the whole scene in Singapore, choral scene or anywhere else, it's like Catholic High people have always been up there, especially when it comes to performing arts and stuff. Hard to believe, but true. And so hopefully this can continue over the years uh, and that it does not stop here. And for this, we pray.